channel. Today I'm going to be doing a highly, highly requested video for you guys and it is going to be how I organize my makeup and maybe a mini tour of my beauty space here. I should tell you this is like beauty bitch on a budget. This is not super high end. Um, I'm going to show you what I am currently using and what I'm planning to transition to. Some of you are newer to my channel so you may not know. Back in November I kind of did this video where it was my like November faves and fails but I was transitioning over here to this house because my husband and I sold our house and we actually had a rental property that we lived in and rented out the other half to. It was a duplex and the market was right so we sold and now we are staying in a rental property. This is only actually going to be my beauty space for another few months. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what I'm currently using and give you a glimpse into what I'm going to upgrade to in the near future. So let's get into this. A lot of this is something that I've had a long time. Some of it is not super glamorous. So if you're like, I don't have a ton of money to spend on organizing makeup, I got you. If you're looking for something super like high end, I'll find you some links or something. We'll figure it out. And I'm also going to try to link most of this below or something like it because I don't know if you'll be able to find my exact pieces, but I hope this helps you guys out to help organize your makeup. And now you guys will understand what I'm saying. I need to do some declutters, what it looks like on my end of this camera. So let's jump in. Come on in. Before we do this backstage tour of my beauty space, if you're new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. So this is an angle you guys don't always get to see. This is my beauty space where I get ready every single morning and where I film. So let's just dive into the main piece over here, which is my beauty desk. So kind of starting behind the scenes, you're going to see I have mirrors all over this space. Hi guys! Because I like to have that option while I'm filming for you guys. I'm actually going to start right here, you guys, because this is my little caddy that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really like this because I was able to repurpose it for my use. I think it's supposed to actually have like a ton of nail polishes and stuff on it. I believe this was like $35 or something from Bed Bath & Beyond. If I can find it, I'll link it below. I like that it spins and that it's super easy and it holds a shit ton of makeup. So let's start up here. This has all my face primers right up here that I've been trying to use. I have some concealers here. Down here I have a lot of my foundations. And this is kind of where I start my morning. And then once I rotate it over here, you're gonna see a ton of my lippies. This is actually a drawer that pulls out so I can check out what I got, what I wanna get into that day. Down here is actually my Princess Park Avenue palette. This is my Park Avenue Princess palette down here along with my NYX contour stick. More lippies right there. I can rotate this. Right now I kind of have it segmented into areas of where I start my day. Because like later I put on some blush. This is the nail polish that I'm currently using. Here is my fixing sprays and matte finishes. Over here on this side you're going to be able to see all of my pencils. So these are my brow items and over here are my liners. I can keep these right readily available and not have to dig through drawers, which I really like. I've got some eyeshadows over here that I'm wanting to try soon, so I have those out. I also have some pigments up here because these little guys can easily get lost in drawers. So I like to put smaller items up on top of this caddy because then I can actually remember that I have them and use them. So this kind of transitions, but I really like having this and it just twirls. Obviously back here I have some more primers, some higher things that are taller, my Becca highlighter that I rarely use. You know, just the taller things to kind of remind me to use them. I've been using this for about two years now and I really like it. It's customizable. To me this is organized for me and how I start my morning. So I really like this and it rotates so it's super easy and it holds so much makeup. It's awesome. So this drawer is super cheap but super user friendly. It sits right underneath my turn caddy here. And I have this organized also in the way I put on my makeup in the morning. So the top small drawer has my first powders and highlighters. So. Over here, this is a little bin that I got from Ikea to kind of keep things a little bit more organized in these drawers. 
These are all the highlighters that I'm putting into my rotation right now that I'm trying. You see the Tardiest Pro Glow here, my Physician's Formula, I have some ColourPop, Wet n Wild, my Ofra highlighter, all kinds of good stuff in here. Over here are the bronzers that I'm reaching for currently. This is the Pure Palette, two butter bronzers, the number seven, ColourPop. It's just kind of keeping these organized to have them in these little bins here. And then a little further back are some of the palettes that I like to use and some other powders to kind of keep my scuff together and other blushes as well. The second row I have here are eyeshadows that are smaller palettes or individual pieces. So this is also a more shallow drawer, so it's easier to do that with. So you can see I have some of my BoxyCharm palettes in here, my smaller color pop. Now this little container, and someone asked me about it before, this holds all of my individual shadows from ColourPop. I got that from Amazon and I can link that below if I can find it. More of my smaller palettes all just kind of like live in this drawer. Now in this drawer are my bigger palettes. This is where my Soiree Diaries palette is, some of my Lorac. Those of you that said the Jaclyn Hill palette was crazy big, you are so right. It takes up the whole bottom of this. Back there is some BH Cosmetics and my Naked palette. This is a kind of generic palette to hold all of my singles. I just got this and I love it. And it all fits really nicely right in there. Again, I'm just trying to stay organized. I don't have to break the bank on my storage. A little further down here, this is where it's a little bit of a hot shot mess here because these are nail polishes that can't stand up because the drawer's too shallow. It won't let them. So these just kind of lay down. This is my eyelash and nail polish filing drawer. It's just more beauty regiment stuff that it didn't need its own drawer anymore because it could be married together. But I have a lot of lashes in here and nail care as well. And then the bottom drawer. This is where I keep some of my hot tools, a big mirror. These are some wipes for when I need to do some my swatching. You guys hear me talk about this a lot. Q-tips, just other beauty things. And that is everything for my makeup right there. Then we're gonna move across. Hi guys! And this is my book that I told you guys about. This is my Hatch book. I keep this with me all the time back here because this is where I put my ideas and inspiration for my videos. This is the BoxyCharm insert that I told you guys. I'm not kidding you. I keep it and I use it. You can tell that it's dirty. I always leave it right up here because this is where I can just reach over, clean off my brush in between using palettes. And I just kind of pull those out and bring them up here. I have a big mirror set up right there so I can check out my hair in the morning, kind of see how it's going. My big ass ring light. It's awesome. I'll link that below if you're interested. I got this reversible mirror. Hi off of Amazon. This is the exaggerated side that lets you get all up in your business. And it lights up as well. So this is where we go into brush heaven. I have three, I guess four actually now, different little holders to hold brushes and some makeup pieces. I got all of these at Ross. So this is one of those acrylic holders and this is holding up some of my perfume, deodorant, a few other primers that I'm trying to finish up because they're small and I'm running, they're running low. I just need to finish them. A setting spray from Cover FX because I don't want it on the caddy over there. It gets to be too complicated, so I'm trying to remember to use it a little bit. Some of my other just single, like, individual liquid eyeshadows, things like that that I want to try to use. Over here, this is a combination of a lipstick and brush holder. Again, I got this from Ross, but if I can find something similar, I'll link it below. This holds pretty much a lot of my nude lips that I'm wanting to use right now, so I've put those in there. Most of those are from ColourPop. And back here are a lot of brushes. These are my bigger fluffy brushes. These are like face brushes. This is the face side. This is where I keep all of my brushes that go for my face. I keep all of those together and they go right there. I have a little dish right here that I put two of my blenders in. These are the ones I'm currently using. This one is just my Real Technique sponge that I use for my face. This one is for highlight and sculpting and this is also Real Techniques. Back here is a teal holder. Again, I didn't even take the label off and I've had this for years. It holds all my brushes and my curling, my eye curling tools. Right here is a three tier holder. This has small little things in it like bobby pins, clips, and I actually even have a little um, flashlight in here because sometimes I need to find stuff when I drop it on the floor. These are all of my eyeshadow brushes that I'm currently using and loving. This bin is where I keep all my mascaras and a pen or two because I always want to keep notes with my little beauty book. 
kind of just keep my Cody Airspun right over here. And there's just a little cheap ring holder holding some of my costume jewelry. My nicer jewelry stays in the bedroom. So then as I go down, this is just kind of like a hodgepodge. This is a plate that goes with this little dish here. I kind of got it as a gift. So I just kind of use it to hold some of my weird hair apparatuses, chapstick, some of my beauty blender stuff. I guess I mostly just have lotions over here and some brush cleaning liquid, stuff like that. Down here on the bottom shelf, this is an old school. So I also have nail polish remover over here. And down here is an old 1950s caboodle. <laughs> this is an American tourist like makeup holder. I found it on a, at a garage sale years ago and it's totally jacked up, but I thought it was so vintage and cool. I loved it. So I've been keeping it in my beauty space. I don't know how much longer I'll keep it to be honest, but it's really cool. I've used it before, but right now it's just kind of holding space, but I thought it was kind of fun and I love vintage. Now I'm going to be moving you to a little area that you've not really seen much of, just maybe a little bit. So over here behind me, you've probably seen these pillows before in my background, but there's a little table over here and it's got these bins. So this holds a lot of my jewelry back here. It kind of looks like a hot mess, but what works? What works? And it spins. Um, I have little tiaras over here. This one is from my wedding. Uh, this was from something else years ago. I've got some jewelry in there. Um, I like to keep a little picture of my husband and I in here. So cute. And in these drawers, it's just a little bit more backup stuff. Like this is some backup stuff. My perfume that I love. More beauty blenders. Hair scrunchies. Some masks. Things like that. These are empty palettes. And just a few hodgepodge things like tape if I ever want to use some tape for a, a look for my eyes. Some lights if I ever wanted to decorate the room. Stuff like that. Bottom drawer down here is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that I still need to kind of declutter and go through. Those are old hairsprays. There is a body mist from Victoria's Secret. Some UGG cleaning stuff for my boots. Teeth whitener. Stuff like that. Oh, and I used this to help color my hair. I got this at Walmart for a couple of dollars. It's awesome. I really recommend it. This is also a piece of my beauty space you don't really get to see. This is directly behind me when I'm filming. Um, I have some pillows here. This one says she's so lovely. It's very spring-like, but I keep it up as long as I can because I hate when it's cold out. Um, I got this from Ross. I, I shop there all the time for just, I don't know, a couple bucks. This is one of those reversible mermaid pillows. I got one of these from, like, I don't know what store, but it was super cute. Um, another little colorful pillow and then a big throwback here. You may have noticed these little guys in the past. They're kind of hidden back here. Um, my husband and I went on our first date to these two places, and these are actually ticket stubs. I made these for one of our first dating anniversaries. That's the Missouri Botanical Garden, and this is going up to the arch. I've made them into little throw pillows, and so I just kind of keep them in here to puff up the other pillows, but super cute, super sentimental. This is a big room, but I actually, the space I use is very small, which I like to keep it organized. Um, if you look back here, this is actually my back door. I know some of you thought it was my front door, but there's Cooper laying in the sun because it's actually nice out. This is actually like a stairwell. This is about to get gross. So over here is our paper towels, some recycling, and our Trader Joe's bags we take to the store. That's actually going down to our basement. So this is really the all I have to my beauty space, which is right in this area here. And I really, these are my lights. I forgot to mention those. Got those off of Amazon. I can link those below. And there's a little guy right there. They came with umbrellas that are in that bag, but I hardly use them in this space because I don't really need it because it's all windows all around, which is kind of nice. Now that door over there, if you're curious, just goes to our kitchen. So nothing in there to see. But this is my beauty space and this is how I organize my makeup. When we had the cold winter months, those lights were awesome to help with a little bit of warmth, but I can tell you now with all of these windows, it's gonna get really warm in here with all those lights on. But this is my beauty space to kind of give you a better idea of what I'm working with as far as organization goes. And I know some of you are interested in a little tour. Oh, this is a bench. I forgot to mention this. This is a little bench that has some of my shoes under it. And um, I keep a bunch of pills on it. That's actually my little bit of a background right there. And all of these little things here, that's a little... Um, all of those little pieces are kind of just from very sporadic places. Now, like I said, this space is just temporary, and now I'm going to show you something that I'm going to be upgrading to when we move. 
So pardon any house mess, but this is going to be the new setup that I move to when we move houses. Um, this is the Alex two drawers and tabletop. This one has the deep drawer over here on the left because I knew I'd at least want one of those. And then this one over here just has regular size. And then it has the tabletop as well where my monitor currently is, but the computer will not be there later when we move because I'm going to need a camera and lighting and all that good jazz. But this is going to be what I use in the future. Now, I'm not sure what other pieces I'm going to have to pick up along the way to make everything kind of work. And these are not very expensive. I know these have been like big on YouTube for years, but it's because they're not very expensive. They just kind of look a little bit cleaner and nicer than kind of what I currently have. But I'm really excited about this and I am going to be getting some kind of laminate top so that way it doesn't stain that white because that would suck. But that's what I'm going to be moving up to in our new house. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and what I use to organize my makeup currently. I know this isn't super fancy. This is not Carly Bybell style. This is not Jaclyn Hill. This is none of that stuff. This is real life what I use every day that doesn't break the budget and it's super easy and you can use things to kind of replicate it. It doesn't have to be anything exact but I will be linking some things below if it helps you guys out because I know you're just kind of curious what I use. This is what I currently use. Now in my next house when we do transition out I will be sure to kind of do an update for you because it sounds like this is something that a lot of you are looking for. You're looking for something that will kind of be helpful but also functional. I totally get it. So when I transition out, let me know if you want a part two to this. Technically part three, because I've already done this once, but that was in my old house. I just, you know, I'll just keep doing it. Every house I get, I'll just figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. And if you have any other requests, please feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to oblige as best I can. Bye, friends.